welcome back cj fam i hail you guys because you guys are the real mvps and if this is your first time on the channel welcome on board do well to hit on that subscribe button like this video and comment pocket in the comment section in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to attach a pocket to a pants so the first thing we're going to do is to measure the width of where our pocket will be so now we're going to mark in two and a half inches horizontally and then vertically we are going to be marking six inches because that is where the shape of the pocket is going to be so now you give it whatever shape that you want at this point i wanted mine to be curved that's i wanted the shape to be a curved shape if you want your straight you can make it straight so i was actually confused at this point but i went ahead with a curved shape at the end of the day so this is it guys so after marking the length of the curve which is six inches and then the width which is two and a half inches the next thing now is to cut it out mind you if you want to cut the curve at the edge make sure you cut straight then curve it so it will be easier for you to stitch it so now i'm done cutting the shape of the pocket so now we're going to place the desired fabric underneath it to get the pocket facing i use the edge that i cut out which is the cuff bar to trace out the shape on the facing just watch this point carefully so you'll be able to understand so now the length of the actual pocket length of the actual pocket is nine inches so i marked the nine inches on the front part of the fabric at this point i was very tired guys so i needed to recharge my energy and then continue with the tutorial so here it is guys back to our tutorial so now mind you the shape of the pocket will be on the two front parts of the fabric which is your front material you're not going to touch the back part so now at this point i've cut the length and the width of the pocket facing which mine was actually 10 by 10 inches on fold it's 10 by 10 inches so now i'm going to be placing the facing underneath the front part of the pants as displayed then i'm going to trace out the edge mind you the tracing out that we're going to do to cut out is on one part of the fabric remember the facing is on fold so we're going to be tracing out the curve shape as well as the part of the hip side as shown then we're going to be cutting out just the upper part make sure you don't cut the lower parts because that would be what to complete the two and a half inches that we've removed on the horizontal side so after cutting that part out make sure to look at the fabric or the facing to see that it matches the front shape of the pants on the side so after cutting out the unwanted part this is how the facing is looking like are you seeing how it's looking it's matching and then you can see that the one underneath completes the part we've removed so now we're going to stitch the lower part to make it like a pocket but before then i'm going to use this particular facing to cut out the one for the left hand side so i'm going to be using this in form of a pattern to cut out the second part of the pocket please ignore every background sound you're hearing because guys my place is very noisy and i can't really control the noise coming in so now we're going to be tracing out the second pocket like this that's the pocket facing make sure to look at this part carefully and gently so you can get it right we are only going to be cutting one part the other part will be to complete the 
part we've removed on the front pants. So after cutting out that shape, we're going to be folding it like this. Then we're going to give it a nice press, both for the left and the right hand side. You can see how it's looking, it's almost forming the shape of a pocket. So now we're going to match the front part on the facing. Are you seeing how it's looking? I made sure I played around with the pattern on the fabric. So over here we have both our front and back piece, but we are going to only be attaching the pocket on the front part. If you know you've gotten to this point and you've not subscribed to the channel, please do want to subscribe to this channel. Help this channel grow, guys. I know you love supporting a good work, so please do that. Thank you guys so much, and I really appreciate your kind gestures. So now we are going to be matching the facing, right side facing each other, the same curved shape to the curved shape. Then we are going to be stitching it out halfway as shown using half of an inch to stitch it down. Guys, please take your time to do this carefully and make sure to follow each curved edges so you don't make any mistakes. I just want to use this opportunity to thank my returning subscribers, my wonderful family that have been so supportive so far. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you guys so much. So at this point now we're going to iron flat the place we stitched together that shown. Make sure to iron it flat so it doesn't protrude at the front part of the pant. Whatever you do for the right hand side, make sure you repeat the same process for the left. So now I'm going to take it to my ironing board and then I'm going to iron it down for you guys to see. So after ironing it down, this is how it looks. So now we're going to be stitching, we're going to be stitching just the facing. We're going to be stitching the lower part. So now after ironing it, look at how the front surface is looking so flat. And then we stitch down the lower part. Now we're going to be stitching the edge of the facing as shown with half of an inch. Please watch this part carefully so that you can really understand it. We're going to be stitching the lower part of the facing to conceal the lower edge. At this point, this machine was trying to give me wahala. Guys, but you know, a girl has to continue. I have to fix it and continue with my work. So now we're going to be using half of an inch to stitch it down as shown. After stitching it, when you get to the edge, remember to backstitch guys so it doesn't unravel. After doing that, now we're going to be stitching the edge of the pocket facing as shown, still with half of an inch guys. I actually, um, I actually sewed a kimono with this fabric as well as a pant. If you would like me to upload the full tutorial, please let me know it down in the comment section below and I'll do that. So now after stitching that particular part, on the upper part of the front pants, make sure to 
Top stitch in form of a tag just to hold down the material to the pocket since the pocket is standing on its own. So now whatever you do for the left, make sure you repeat the same process for the right guys. And now we are done with our pocket. The next thing we are going to be doing is to stitch the upper part which I have done already. Stitch it on the upper part with half of an inch. So after doing that, we are done with the tutorial guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.